Hi, this is Phoenix Genesis for PhoenixGenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Fry Camp. And I'm back for some more lightweight, um, ultra light backpacking tips. So in the Sierra, you're required to have a bear canister. Um, I took last year on my section hike of the PCT JMT in the Sierras, I took the uh, Bear Vault 450. This runs you about, um, I think it was, what's it say, $67 with tax. Um, you get some deals if you I heard if you get them in Kennedy Meadows, but I like to have everything all prepped out ahead of time. So I want to show you my little combination here. So let's start with the uh, Bear Vault itself. Uh, you can also do the five, um, the Bear Vault 500. Um, I, you know, I just think it's too heavy and it's too um, unwieldy and bulky. And then you got to carry a bigger backpack and that adds more weight. So I'm going to show you my lightweight setup. So basically, what um, what's very important with your bear canister is you want to put your name in it in sharpie number one because they all look the same and then what i do is i put um a minecraft sticker i'm one of the top players of minecraft i designed minecraft put that on my youtube channel check that out as well again my youtube's phoenix genesis um and right here here's uh minecraft so that identifies it as mine and then i like the little pacific crest trail sticker um if you're not a member join the pct uh organization um it's great uh, you'll get a little sticker like this we went to the book signing and um i got a couple stickers there so that also too if something were to happen to me and i say i passed out i fell off a cliff and someone found my stuff um and somehow say um my like i had my backpack with me but I left this by my campsite someone would at least know I was hiking the Pacific Crest Trail and they might be able to um, look me up so or they know um, where I was coming from because um, most people do actually do a northbound um, through hike from Mexico to Canada so I think that's good too you can put some more stickers but I want to you leave some area so you can actually see what's in there um, make sure you stomp down your f uh, food with your foot because um, you know uh, all that air volume is really going to take a lot of weight and you can pack I pack I could fit 10 pounds of food in here and honestly you don't need more than that uh, even the longest stretches in the Sierra so now um, what I also recommend is this that I got this at Walmart this is outdoor products I tried all kinds of lightweight hydration packs nothing fit the bear canister oh my god just this is a weird um, you know shape and size and it's really hard to pack so this is a packable day pack they come in two two colors that I've seen they come in green and they come in the purple right here so I bought an extra one and it packs up in this nice ball it weighs approximately um three and three and five eighths ounces or three and a half my scale isn't the most perfect scale so it packs up like this it pulls out and this is just a great item to have anyway because say you just want to put some uh, you can actually put uh food in here in the parts you're not in the, the sierras uh you can um you can uh, maybe you're in town you want to put some laundry in and walk over the laundry or you just want your valuables like your phone your camera and your um and uh your id and you don't want to carry other stuff and uh leave your um backpack with all your stuff in your tent so anyway this just goes right in here like this i mean it's oh my god it's like the perfect size um give me a moment here so da, 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 come on my Siamese cat Suki's so mad at me right now because I put her outside because uh, I've got my tent set up too and she was getting into it and I don't want my tent clawed. Now it doesn't want to go in there. Excuse me for one moment. There we go. So there we go. See, it's in there and you even have um, a little bit of uh, extra room in there as well if you so I actually have some extra room so I can put some uh, the snacks I'm going to eat for the day on top. Uh, actually, what I like to do is I like to put my um, Cthulhu Micro Spikes in there because I don't want to um, rip my good pack. So that way I can get those in the Sierra too because you're only going to need those in the Sierra. So there it is. And that just goes on like this. And it's so lightweight. Oh, my God. So um, here you go. And your bear canister is right in there. And then what I'll do with this is I'll put a uh, mountain um, 3.0 running vest with this hydration vest. And this is great because I could do, especially if you're just going to do some quickie hikes also in the Sierra or any place that requires a bear canister. Or you just want a bear canister because you don't want your dog to chew up your food. Or um, little critters that might come in and chew up your food. And, you know. The nice thing too is um, because this is in a pack like this, you can even have double protection. Not 
only do you have a bear canister, but you could actually hang your food with this as well. So again, um, it doesn't weigh a lot and it has many uses. And again, you can even put this on top of your backpack as well, or you could hook it up because it's a backpack. You could hook it up underneath on the bottom. Uh, I like the weight on the top. I think it's better for your um, back. If you look at the Sherpas, they always carry um, in Nepal, they carry the weight up high. So I think it's better to put it on the top of your pack. But anyway, um, a lightweight alternative. You can even sling it around one shoulder if you want to. And you're out for the day. Um, and also those straws I showed you, um, you know, those are scented. So, you you know, those fit in there too. They fit, you know, these don't fit in the um, 450 bear canister. So what I could do is take my little straws for now and just stick those on top as well or on the side and they go in there as well so I've got you know my creams and all the other little things I want so anyway that's it again stay inspired go lightweight believe me when I was in the Sierras last year and I had to carry my 65 liter pack because I had to carry everything for my um, older dog Ray uh, it was just it was horrific it really I was sitting there and I was looking at all this beauty and I'm like oh my god it would be so much more fun if I wasn't um, carrying this uh, stupid unwieldy big pack so um, again uh, oh and this cinches up too so see that's nice you can keep it nice and tight and it really doesn't bounce around now, that's another thing I want to show you um you know you don't want things that are gonna bounce around see how nice and tight that is and see also if I cinch it up, see how high up it is? So I could actually have my pack here, put this over the pack. You know, if I'm carrying a 30 liter pack, which is um, honestly 30, 40 liters is a maximum of a pack you should carry on a through hike if you want to be happy, unless you're, um, you know, you're really just a glutton for punishment. So um, see that, that goes up nice and high and it'll just ride right up over your other pack and you're good to go. Anyway, please take a bear canister, protect the bears. They're part of our, um, Wildlife, Phoenix Genesis signing out.